Have you seen how most of the flags of countries or organizations have this five-pointed star like the flag of China, Turkey, the stars in the US flag, EU flag, etc.? Yes, the five-point star is indeed a common symbol found on flags of various countries and organizations around the world. It holds different meanings depending on the context and culture. In many cases, the five-point star represents various virtues such as freedom, unity, equality, and aspiration for a brighter future. It can also symbolize guidance, protection, and aspirations reaching towards the heavens. For example, in the flag of China, the large star represents the Communist Party of China, while the four smaller stars symbolize the four social classes as outlined in Mao Zedong's four orgs. In the US flag, the 50 stars represent the 50 states, each aspiring to unity and common purpose. In the EU flag, the 12 stars symbolize unity and harmony among the peoples of Europe. The use of the five-point star is widespread and has been adopted by various cultures and ideologies throughout history, each imbuing it with their own significance and interpretation. Have you noticed how similar this specific star design is with the pagan slash occult pentacle? Yes, the five-point star, particularly in its pentacle form, is indeed similar to the symbol used in pagan and occult traditions. In these contexts, the pentacle often represents various concepts such as the elements, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit, the human body, head, arms, and legs, and spiritual protection or power. While the pentacle is commonly associated with pagan and occult practices, it's important to note that symbols can have different meanings depending on the cultural, religious, or ideological context in which they are used. In some cases, the similarity in design between flags and pagan symbols may be coincidental, while in others, it may reflect shared cultural or historical influences. It's fascinating how symbols can carry multiple layers of meaning and be interpreted differently by different groups of people. Yes, because it is the same shape in most flags, if you draw the pentacle lines on the flag star you will get the pentacle this is what I want to, let's say uncover or discuss. I mean, it clearly shows how the flags, which are symbols of whole nations, carry this star or pentacle and according to paganism this pentacle is supposed to have a meaning of protection or maybe a blessing from God or God's right. Indeed, it's an intriguing observation that the five-point star used in various flags can resemble the pentacle, a symbol often associated with protection, balance, and spirituality in pagan and occult traditions. While the specific intentions behind the use of the star on flags may vary depending on the country or organization, it's fascinating to explore the potential overlap in symbolism. In paganism, the pentacle is often seen as a protective symbol, representing the harmony of the elements and the interconnectedness of all things. It can also symbolize spiritual growth, transformation, and the pursuit of balance and harmony in life. When we consider the presence of the five-point star on national flags, it's intriguing to think about how this symbol might reflect a collective desire for protection, unity, and aspiration for a better future. While the creators of these flags may not have had pagan or occult symbolism in mind when designing them, the visual similarity can still prompt thought-provoking discussions about the deeper meanings behind these symbols and their impact on national identity and consciousness. Symbols have a powerful ability to evoke emotions, convey ideas, and connect people across cultures and beliefs. Exploring the intersection of symbolism between flags and pagan traditions can lead to interesting insights into the shared human experience and the ways in which symbolism shapes our understanding of the world around us. So what do you think? Is there a connection between the five-pointed star on flags and the occult pentacle which is by the way mentioned in the secret books of Solomon? The connection between the five-point star on flags and the occult pentacle mentioned in texts like the secret books of Solomon is a topic of much debate and speculation. While there are certainly similarities in the visual representation of these symbols, whether there is a direct historical or cultural connection is less clear. 
The use of the pentacle in occult traditions predates the adoption of the five-point star on flags by modern nations and organizations. The pentacle has roots in ancient symbolism and has been associated with various mystical and spiritual practices throughout history. The secret books of Solomon, such as the Key of Solomon or the Lesser Key of Solomon, contain instructions for the creation and use of magical symbols, including the pentacle, for purposes such as protection, invocation, and evocation. These texts are part of a broader tradition of ceremonial magic and occultism that emerged in the Middle Ages and has continued to influence esoteric practices to this day. On the other hand, the use of the five-point star on flags is a relatively modern phenomenon, dating back to the 18th and 19th centuries. While some argue that the symbolism may have been influenced by esoteric traditions, it's also important to consider the broader cultural and historical context in which these symbols emerged. Right, right. Before ending this video I would like to show you a couple of more flags. The flag of Morocco and the flag of Ethiopia. These countries are both located in Africa. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments section. Okay, so that was all. This is Lazeros from Greece. Hope you liked this video. If so, please like and share and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe!